Lourdes, good afternoon. You'll remember that the Civilian Office of Police Accountability, which is the agency that investigates Chicago police shootings, initially withheld this video from public view. But after the Toledo family has had a chance to see it, now all of Chicago is having a chance to view what happened on that night. And early on in the morning of March 29th, 13 year old Adam Toledo and 21 year old Ruben Ramon were walking on South Sawyer Avenue in Little Village at 2.34 in the morning. They walked past the front door of Amor de Dios United Methodist Church located at 2356 South Sawyer Avenue. Toledo is wearing a white hat in the video. He and Ramon walk out of view of the camera. The next time the two were seen is moments later from the vantage point of a school surveillance camera about a block away looking east across a parking lot from Farragut Career Academy High School. Uh, they were near the corner of 24th Street and South Sawyer Avenue and on the video at least eight gunshots can be heard and police say they were recorded by ShotSpotter which is that high tech system of sensitive microphones that pick up the sounds of gunfire and then help police locate the spot of the shots. So those sensors indicate the shots had come from that corner where Toledo and Ramon were standing at uh, 24th and Sawyer. So police were dispatched to that corner and officers went to check it out. Now on the body worn camera of an officer who has not yet been identified police, we see what unfolded in an alleyway just around the corner. It was about 238 in the morning, four minutes after we first saw them walking by that church and it shows the officer chasing Toledo down that alley. Police say Toledo had a gun in his hand, which is seen on a frame of video if we freeze it and, and show the public. And at an opening in the wooden fence along the alley, Toledo turns and then appears to drop the gun as he is raising his hands. Uh, according to video timestamps, only a fraction of a second, exactly 842 milliseconds elapsed from the time that the officer saw the gun in Toledo's hand and the moment that the officer actually fired that fatal shot. Now, there is also another vantage point of the chase from the camera atop Farragut High School, which shows uh, through the opening in the fence where this all unfolded, uh, the officer's gun can be seen uh, blasting as uh, Toledo collapses. Now, Chicago police say that they immediately gave Toledo uh, medical aid and then called for an ambulance. And the Civilian Office of Police Accountability uh, will be uh, continuing to investigate this case. They are looking at uh, obviously all of these videos and reviewing them. They are looking at police reports, dispatch reports, and also uh, interviewing any potential witnesses and the officer himself. That all this afternoon remains under investigation. For now, reporting live outside of Chicago Police Headquarters in Bronzeville, Mike Lowe, WGN News. Thank you, Mike.